CBS 17's Imani Payne is downtown now with a closer look at the damage. Imani, you live downtown. And, you know, what are you seeing? Yeah, that's right. I do live in this area and I can tell you we did not get a lot of sleep here last night as chaos erupted down below and it's definitely an eerie feeling um, with how quiet everything is compared to last night. Now, while those protests did start out peacefully, come nightfall, it seemed like things really took a turn for the worst. And I'm going to show you why. Here is the aftermath of those protests. You can see the glass doors and windows just completely shattered. A lot of glass down here shattered and spread out across the floor. And that dinging you're hearing is actually the alarm system going off right now as we speak. And the damage just continues all the way down the block here. You can see tons of damage here, a lot more glass scattered across the area. Now here at the Art of Style, their door completely broken in, everything ransacked inside, and it actually looks like some of their mannequins were drug out, and it looks like they were used to break even more windows down there as well. And I mean, the damage just continues. Down the other way on the street over here is the CVS, where we saw people breaking inside and taking items. So it's definitely, um, a devastating scene to see here, but it's also one of the community now coming together, trying to help everyone out. Um, just a ways down, you can see people have started to gather and do their best to clean up some of this damage. Um, and we know that's going to continue throughout the morning, but uh, just, a, just a sad image here, especially for those local businesses, local restaurants here that just reopened or were planning to reopen due to COVID. So um, a long cleanup recovery process here indeed. For now, we're live downtown Imani Payne, CBS 17 News.